Welcome. Today we'll be making a quiche with five cheeses. The list of ingredients is at the end of the video. To start, melt butter in the pan and saute onion and garlic. This always smells wonderful to start. This is going to cook for two minutes. Meanwhile, I have time to prepare my filling. I'll start with two eggs. And I'm adding 10% cream. You can use milk or even 35% cream if you prefer. I love using 10% cream in the quiche. It just gives the right balance for me. And ricotta cheese which is sort of my secret ingredient. And today, I'm going with allspice. Now you can use nutmeg if you'd like. Just think allspice is very festive. And of course, salt and pepper. There we go. And we'll be ready to assemble the quiche. Since this is a festive recipe, I'm using cranberry sauce in the bottom of the crust. This is a store-bought deep dish pie crust that I cooked for 10 minutes just to brown it. Now we're ready for the rest. Diced cooked turkey. I said this was a festive recipe. It's great for the holidays. And broccoli. And the onion and garlic mixture. It already smells wonderful. All right, now the filling. It's the tasty stuff. And now for the star, the cheese. I'm using shredded Gouda, cheddar, and crumbled blue cheese. You can substitute Canadian feta, Avarti, provolone, whatever you'd like. Cheese is always good. And I'm putting plenty of it too. The blue and the cranberry sauce will go perfectly together. And it's ready to go to the oven for 20 minutes at 375. Mm. Now, you've only counted four cheeses, right? Here comes the fifth. This is the brie. And I'm topping the quiche while it's warm with brie slices. Now it's ready to serve and it smells wonderful. But if you want, you can put it at broil for two more minutes just to melt the brie. Bon appétit and enjoy.